you know, pyramids. met my parents when I was being tossed from heaven into hell. My father is one of those people who got a doctor's degree and now he thinks he's smarter than everyone else. Well, actually he is a highly educated marine. Sampler five. <laughs> Just because you have a doctor's degree in barking orders doesn't mean you're smart. Realistically, my father is what I like to call an educated moron with uh, no common sense who will not stop giving bad advice. You see, he will stand here and say, How many times have I told you? You gotta make all the right choices in life. And not more than two seconds later, he'll say, You don't need a day job. Just quit! Go be an actor! Okay, so I'll admit, he is very supportive of my career. So much so it's no longer mine. And given his military tactics way of thinking, I have exactly three minutes to become rich and famous. My daddy is a stage mother without any tits. Although at his age, that is questionable. See, I'm always supposed to follow his advice. And if I do that right, all I have to do is show up at Sony Studios, tell them I'm a star, and in exactly three minutes, the red carpet will roll, the champagne will flow, and all my dreams will come true. And I'm supposed to be all gung-ho about doing this, like it's no big deal if I get arrested <laughs> again. Hey, but my dad said it would be mine! And like most stage moms, he thinks I should be performing 27 hours a day, 8 days a week, no matter where I am or what I'm doing. There's no business like show, business like no business I know. <laughs> Today, I'm supposed to go out and strike up a full-on performance at our neighborhood Rite Aid. After all, Steven Spielberg could be there and I might get discovered. Last year, when I followed my father's advice, Larry Flint had me thrown out of his office and I had to post bail. See, my father got it in his head that because Larry Flint loves women and will go out of his way to help hookers, there's no way in hell he wouldn't help me. Well, thank you, Dad, for that. So there I was, off following Daddy's orders, with a breakdown of my new script in hand and a big grin plastered across my face. Hi, Larry. <laughs> Would you uh, like to invest in my new film about a beautician? That was the dumbest thing I've ever done. 
Dad said it would be fine, just walk right in, so I did. But uh, Larry wasn't going for it, so <laughs> I had to break into one of those um, singing telegram things. Oops! <laughs> I heard that you were feeling ill. Fever, headache, and a chill. Well, today you're going to have good luck, because I'm a girl who likes to 